that no one has seen. Oh. So they're preparing for something they haven't seen. Mm -hmm. and, and then it makes us wonder, I mean, they don't know what's on it, and mm -hmm. all in the uproar, preparing for something they've never seen. Now, we know Christ is coming back. Mm -hmm. We know what's expected of us. Are we preparing just as, you know, preparing for his return, if they're preparing for that, that test? And mm -hmm. then, you know, just the injustice, what, what can we do about things that we see that just aren't fair? Mm -hmm. And so we ask that question enough, what can we do? And the enemy begins to say, you can't do anything. You know, you just can't do anything about that. That's not, you know, that's out of your lane. That's not even any of your business. Mm. You're too young to do anything about that. Just leave it alone. You can't do anything about that because you're a woman. You can't do anything about that because, you know, you pass your time. That's for the young folks to do. There's nothing you can do about it. It's just you by yourself. Mm. You know, so that's how we get from what can be done to you can't do anything. But in Psalm 111, yeah, the question is asked. It's not a new question. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Come on. Come the on. very next verse, and there's not a verse in between it, it's verse four. Mm. There's no three and a half. Hmm. All right. Come on. Come on. What can the righteous do? The answer, the response is the Lord is in his holy temple. Mm. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try. The children of men, what can the righteous do? The Lord is still on the throne. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Amen.